Happy Saturday, everyone. What we're seeing now outside is the calm before the storm. Cold front starting to move through, which will bring in scattered showers, isolated thunderstorms. But really, the big whammy here will be that low pressure system currently up in Alberta. We're seeing that system move counterclockwise. It's going to be a big one, a big spring storm system moving in later on this afternoon and evening. We are already going to be seeing some rain and snow showers due to the first cold front. Then we're going to see another cold front move in later later on this evening and into the overnight hours for tomorrow. So looking at the rest of the evening here, we're going to see those showers over the next few hours and then we're going to see that next cold front start to move through, which will drop our temperatures. We're starting to see things be mix rain and snow and then really we're going to start to see most of that snow move in overnight tonight through tomorrow morning becoming more widespread throughout the day tomorrow so a lot going on here we have blizzard warnings in red winter weather advisories in blue we have winter storm warnings in purple and that light pink we have wind advisories so not only is it going to be snowing it's going to be very windy blizzard like conditions where those blizzard warnings are and how, what is a blizzard well we're seeing a falling snow sustained or frequent gusts of 35 mile per hour and also it has to be occurring for three hours so we got a lot going on tonight and tomorrow we're going to be seeing possibly some showers and thunderstorms over the next few hours and then we're going to start to see some rain and snow as those temperatures cool down overnight. Overnight lows tonight we're seeing 20s and 30s. Tomorrow's forecast very windy. Temperatures will be in the 30s and we are going to be seeing that snowfall. So 33 in Cutbank, 30 in Lewistown, 34 in Helena. Looking at future track for tomorrow, we are seeing that widespread precipitation here by Sunday morning. We'll continue to see it here through north central Montana from Cutbank to Haver down to Great Falls, Helena and Lewistown. Then we're going to start to see it move even into northeastern Montana here later on Sunday afternoon, seeing that mix of rain and snow. So most of the snow is going to fall in the morning hours and early afternoon, at least in north central Montana. You could see by 630 it's moving out no longer snowing in Cut Bank Haver or even Great Falls. Still seeing some showers in Helena and Lewistown and it'll continue to kind of just linger here through Sunday evening, but becoming uh, less widespread obviously and more showery so here's what we got going on our snow forecast through monday could see one to three inches in great falls two to four in cut bank right around maybe two inches in haver lewistown seeing higher accumulations three to five inches and helena glasgow jordan seeing a little less than an inch now this could definitely change our forecast confidence is low and why is that well first of all montana is really hard to forecast on a normal day, but in the spring storms, it's really hard because we're looking at temperatures, all the different model differences. Obviously, terrain will be a big factor, um, just depending on what the temperature is at a certain level, and especially those warm ground temperatures. We're still seeing some pretty warm ground temperatures, so it's going to start laying on the grass before it starts laying on the road and also we're going to be seeing very windy conditions as well so it'll be pretty hard to uh, um, measure the accumulation so it's going to be pretty chilly here over the next few days sunday monday tuesday finally it's looking like a staircase getting up towards the 60s by the end of next week we'll have the full forecast and everything updated tonight at 5 30 and 10 krtv kxlh